That's you too. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not so cute. You you need to relax. Uh, you stocky as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, but yeah. like you was you was really coming up like I didn't I didn't. Yo, what's good, my people? It's your boy Pretty Boy J, and I'm back. Bongo. Yes, sir. So in the cooking pot today we have Aaron, aka Weapon X. Yeah, if you remember him, he was the Lancet plumber with a catchphrase, you did me a favor. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to play you a previous video of him on the show and then a follow-up video of what happened after the show. With that being said, if you are new here, you're welcome. And you know what to do, hit that subscribe button and you know what? Stick around because it's about to be for your <laughs> For your works out here. All right, guys, now it's time to cook. Let's go. All right, if we can have your name. Uh, my name is Aaron. Aaron, how old yes, are you? Yeah, I'm 29. 29, okay, yes. and what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I look like, I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um, has a career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous, <laughs> not cleanly. Um, don't have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go ahead and go on over there and see what's going on. Yes. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon property. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. <laughs> so uh, that's okay. Thank you. You did me a favor. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you have a great day. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. And... All right. We got to pop over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Jara. I'm 22. Okay. And why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made. Uh, didn't really. I like a more humble person. That's the one that responds to. So defensive-ish yeah that's really it hey, uh, I, I didn't really necessarily like that's how you fine responded. hey i could just yeah. all i can do is be honest you know yeah, be honest I be authentic self to, that's okay to, to, to find a match sure that one match and that's sure, all I mean, queen 100 percent. yes yeah. yeah sure and i was um she's someone that's your type uh she all right you know you're not really my type i don't mean to be disrespectful no, disrespect you know me. but if i seen you in public i wouldn't reach out to totally oh, shit. yes ma'am thank you all right wait a minute i may be tripping but i thought most ladies usually say they like guys who are real and honest you sure you do queens because <laughs> trust me if men are going to be real and straightforward with you ladies i don't think you're gonna like it you feel me yeah so that brings me back to the question again are you sure you like a man that is real all the realness in the man <laughs> i don't know man but you, you know what let's keep watching and we did get a pop balloon over here your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon i'm lex and i'm 23 and i pop my balloon because i feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful like how you like i don't know arrogant a little bit yes yeah just that well voice in my opinion is not arrogant she asked me if she would be a good fit for me. If I like what I see, you know, uh, it's contrary to the truth. Of so course. that's all I can do is just state what I see. I don't, that's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Yeah. Also, um, what I have to say is it's not what you say. This is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. But one thing about me is I'm not going to change who I am. Of course. To fit somebody else's liking. You know, I'm just going to tell it how it is. If you're not it, that's not it. You know, cool. the one that is it, I'm going to let it be known. Okay. You know, for surely, yes. Respectful. Okay. All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, 
the women I deal with, they don't have hair on their Don't arms. do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest. Don't do queen. too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts. You just parts, wasn't looking at my not eyes. What it is. That's no, I was all looking I was at the hair out. on your Anyways, arms. Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do too much. Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. I so that's all good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Bro, no, 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 no. Come on, man. I mess with you by the hair comments. No, bro. I don't mess with that. No, 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 no. You don't have to allow yourself to make some comment to a woman. Come on, bro. No. Real G's don't do that, bro. Real G's keep it together. No matter how bruised your ego gets, bro. You have to stay collected, bro. No, come on, man. Hair comments? Nah, it's a no-no for me. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that. No, 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 no. I understand you're standing on business. You want to weed out, you know, and get straight to whoever you're feeling. But, bro, top G's don't do that, man. Ah, weapon X. Come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> we do still have three and pop. But she looking like you going to pop? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay, though, Queen. You look phenomenal, though. Thank you. You know, she ain't Don't fit to my liking. She ain't even fit to my... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm, I'm talking to this woman right here. Oh, well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I could look anyway I want to. You know? But, yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back, though? Yeah, do you want your balloon back, Queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. You, you already been, I already let you know. I'm not interested right, in, Come you on. got more hair on your arms than me, baby. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but you feel it. Um, I'm not going to get my balloon back. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. So we do still have uh, two balloons. Yes. Do we still have two balloons? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over here. I saw you hesitate. That's why I had to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know. Mm. So I didn't find that offensive to me. But... They started that what was going on. I'm very like I'm, I don't want to say I'm argumentative, but I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's gonna always be a problem. That was the only reason why I popped my balloon because I was just like, dang. Um, but then with me, you kind of got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy, just a little bit. <laughs> Baby, you sassy. So man got standards. He ain't gonna take shit from anyone. He's sassy. That brings me back to the question again. Do you like a real man or the realness in a man? Because I feel like most ladies like a confident lie. You tell a lady the brutal, honest truth, they ain't gonna like that. I understand he's a bit rough on the edges, but he knows what he wants. Anyway. <laughs> and since you wanna come at everybody over here, I'm gonna get at you too. You kinda look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not oh, so shit. cute. Oh, shit. You, you need to relax. Uh, you stocky <laughs> as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, but yeah. like you was you was really coming out like I didn't I didn't like it. I'm from the south and I can handle like a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that, but the way you was coming, you just ain't like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you probably got a roommate at home and it's just not giving anymore. Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate I live and property management. I live downtown. So what you I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing say with me. You everybody not qualified. You definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. You wanted, if I seen, I, that's fine. So that, what? That, that's is totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand on the bank. Ooh. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, man you can't do that. You can't do that, though, baby. Yeah, let's in a real move way. On. You can't do that, though, Queen. Yo. <laughs> Once again, ego bruised. To, like to pull out hundred G's. No, bruh. You don't do that with a lady, man. You have to leave that with a boy's boy's fault, man. Like, you don't have to prove yourself. Come on, man. All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay. And Esther, uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh, yeah. I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. <laughs> okay. Now we can talk, right? 
in a real way. Okay. <laughs> what do you look for? I look. What for are you looking for? A, a woman, like I said, that's not going to be promiscuous. A woman that's going to be consistent. A woman that has a career and things going for herself. Because I had the same thing going for myself. Okay. You know as well. I don't need a woman to. Uh, Give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty. That's all. And some honesty. Do you believe in God? Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God-fearing man. I practice monotheism. You know, I won't tell you what I identify is religion-wise, but we can get to that at a later date and time, you we know, can. if you choose to uh, leave here with me. Okay. Do you know the Bible says that love is kind? Yes, yeah, certainly. Are you here for love or are you here to just insult I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a family, you know, okay. that's what I aspire to do. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. You're good? Sure, we're good. Oh, okay. All right. Any questions for her? No, not at all. Oh. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Do you want kids? I do. You How gonna give you me again? some? Huh? How old are you? I'm 29. How old are you? 23. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. You know, okay. we might as well get up out of here right now. <laughs> yeah. Step on over here. Let's step on. Step that way real quick for me. Step that okay. way. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it seems like there's a little vibe here. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? God says save souls. So yeah. What? Oh, and is it a yes for you it's for her? It's going to be a hell yes for okay, me. Okay, we yeah, got a match. Right. <laughs> All right, let me take this mic and y'all can go on off. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what happens after. Yeah, before y'all start asking, uh, the girl that I matched with on the show, we did not go on a date. Oh, we didn't even make it off the set. Are you still me? You know, she did something crazy <laughs> to me, and I was like, shit, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still single. Appreciate the DMs. So she made a post on her Instagram and captioned it, and I read, go on a dating show to find love, forgetting it's 2024, and you are better off alone. All right, there you have it, guys. And then, um, so Aaron also took to her, um, his Instagram and made a post. I want us to look at the lower caption saying, as soon as we got off the set, she gave her, she gave another man her number. Whoa, you clearly don't know what the winning prize looks like. Baby, you disqualified. Women. <laughs> now let's move on to um, the interview. Uh, uh, he had with Kite. Shout outs to Kite for this interview. Yeah, I'm going to leave the full interview link in the description. You can check it out later, but let's get into it. Let's go. I will say, you know, what happened was when we met, I was interested in her. We had a very pleasant conversation um, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after the conversation, we, we were on our way to having a good night. And I'm not talking, you know, a physical night. It was just we hit it off well. Right. And um, I, I was really looking forward to seeing what happened with this woman. Um, acceptable giving out her number. And um, I just had to upload the screenshot to show everybody, you know, I'm the truth, man. I'm not going to lie about nothing. The woman did reach out to me. She did want a second chance with me. Whoa, I, whoa. I thought about it, but I, I, honestly, I'm not doing no second chances and you showing signs of promiscuity. It's not going down. Yeah. Break it down for these folks so that they can understand disqualify. Hey, when I say disqualify, you know, that means this woman should not be in no contact whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You know, you cancel her immediately. If there is any red flags, you know, I really have an intuition and I can just feel it. You know, if, yeah. if you get that red flag, man, don't entertain it. You know, mm -hmm. say to yourself, there is a woman, there is a man out there for you. Um, get in tune with your spirituality. Do something different. You know, do something spontaneous, something you haven't did before. You be content with being by yourself. You don't have to go out every weekend. You yes. know, go do something different. Read a book. Learn something. Do something productive. You know, go help somebody. If you're in a position of power, go help somebody. Right. But uh, don't give your time to a disqualified person a mm. person that is going to waste your time they're going to play games they're going to lead you on man i don't have time for that i'm not taking you on a date i'm not doing none of that if you about me we can go to the to the moon and back Woo! if you want to right you know but if you're interested in other people 
we can't get as far as I can throw you. Mm -hmm. Right. Now listening to him here, he sounds like he's down to earth, man. Hate him or love him, he is the weapon X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as usual, not just for entertainment purpose only. You gotta learn something from this. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.